Hi, welcome to this video on CTVS, that is cardiothoracic vascular surgery and this also includes vascular surgery MCH because the exam for both CTVS and vascular surgery, which are completely different courses, it's done through the same examination. You must have heard that it's not a popular branch these days and many seats go vacant even in government colleges. It's because of long and hectic working hours of a CTVS surgeon a late start of the career like to become an independent cardiac surgeon one has to put in a lot of hard work and many years under some other surgeon so they assume that it won't be a satisfying job and for people who are in smaller cities it's not a good option because to work as a cardiac surgeon you need a really big setup and facilities which are possible mostly in metro cities but yes if you are passionate about going into ctvs these factors should not stop you yes one other factor that people always talk about is the rise of cardiologists and they are performing stenting of the coronary arteries and things like that which take away a lot of patients from the cardiac surgeons and so Yes, if you are passionate about CTVS, you should not you know, stray away from it. I've seen people who really wanted to become a cardiac surgeon, they're really interested in the subject, but just after hearing these things, these bad things about CTVS that people talk about, they change their mind and do something else. Well, it should not be like that because I think that when we want to become an astronaut, we don't think like, oh, being a shopkeeper is easier and we can earn more money being a shopkeeper, so let's become a shopkeeper, right? We don't think like that. So if you have decided that, you know, you want to become a cardiac surgeon, go for it. Obviously, if you think that, you, okay, you really cannot, given that time and effort and hard work, fine go for an easier branch and what people usually choose is um, plastic surgery and pediatric surgery when they think of a light branch well a lot of people want to become a neurosurgeon they go for neurosurgery those who want to become an oncosurgeon they go for oncosurgery those who want to become plastic surgeon they go for plastic surgery and those who want to to become a cardiac surgeon should go for cardiac surgery but then there are other people who don't know what to do they are okay with any subject they just want a nice life good money not so much hectic work yeah let them take whatever they choose but if your interest is in cardiac surgery no matter how peaceful your life will be in some other branch no matter how much money you'll earn you'll never get a satisfaction because you have dreamt of that particular branch and unless and until you do work in that branch you won't be satisfied so yes if you can handle the stress and if you don't compare yourself to your friends in orthopedics and the urology who are going to start becoming a independent consultant very fast you know if you can manage not comparing yourself to them then it's going to be a very satisfying branch and well when you check the richest doctors in india or the world you always have a cardiac surgeon in the list and because of many people not going for cardiac surgery and many seats left vacant i've heard that it's going to become a big advantage for those people who are taking up ctvs in the present years like if you take up ctvs now or tomorrow or i mean next year or the next year you won't have much competition and few years down the line in 2030 or 2040 when they will want to look for CTVS surgeons you are going to be one of the few who are available in the country right so it is a good option and there are obviously cardiac surgeons who are working who are earning who are happy and it's not like uh, they're not getting to sleep or eat isn't it so I think we have put a very bad name to CTVS during our discussion with friends and all. Everyone says, nahi nahi mat karna, CTVS to bahut bekar hai. You know, because of these bad comments, 
negative comments a lot of people have lost interest which is not good if you have the interest you should go for it and okay enough of these talks and let's go and check out the 2019 result of need super specialty exam so how many people applied in 2019 491 candidates were there for ctvs and vascular surgery and when we say ctvs it's not only ctvs all the courses uh, like vascular surgery cardiovascular and thoracic surgery thoracic surgery pediatric cardiothoracic vascular surgery these all are included in this one exam and when you search the mci website like this mch thoracic surgery cardiothoracic surgery cardiovascular and thoracic surgery and view results after selecting all states and all colleges you'll see that it shows a total college count of 63 and total seats of 251 i don't know why they say total result found is 64 here well college is 63 and total seats 251 out of this you have to detect 69 seats and five colleges for the autonomous colleges like ames delhi ames rishikesh jipmer sri chitra in kerala and pgi chandigarh well the list of them are over here and uh, ames delhi offers 32 annual seats and 18 seats in ames rishikesh annually and in pgi chandigarh there are 12 seats annually three seats in jipmer pondicherry and four seats in sri chitra since these are autonomous colleges we have deducted the number and so it will lead to a, a total college count of 58 and total seats of 190 182 but then we have to add seven colleges and 21 seats of vascular surgery also which are these that you get after searching mch vascular surgery you get seven colleges six in tamil nadu these are srm savita madras medical college madurai medical college christian medical college velour and stanley medical college in chennai and one college in karnataka bangalore that is ms ramaya medical college which offers five seats of vascular surgery now time to look into the competition i feel like it's good to look at these uh, scores and ranks because this gives you an idea of how much people are studying for uh, this course whether they are a thousand or two thousand people applying for it whether they are 300 500 700 you know the more the number of people chances of the completion being tough is more and if every year in 2019 2020 we'll see the result of 2020 if every year a lot of people more than 100 people are getting more than 300 score it gives you an idea that okay a lot of people are preparing seriously for this but here only three or four people have a score of more than 300 and so not everyone is studying very hard but yes till up to 60 rank people are getting 250 or more score so it's not very easy competition but then it's not very difficult also like onco surgery and neurology so first rank is 322 score second rank is 311 third rank is 306 fourth rank is 300 fifth rank is 298 it's the same for sixth rank seven and eight rank had a score of 297 ninth rank had 295 tenth rank had 293 here you can see the ranks of rank 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 up to rank 60 there it's 252 that is more than 250 out of 400 and mind you this is after negative marking so it's not easy to get a score of 250 without studying obviously and a score of 246 for a rank 70 holder rank 80 had a score of 242 rank 90 had a score of 236 rank 100 had a score of 233 the further ranks we can see here if we have to look at a 58th percentile in order to know the initial cutoff score it's going to be somewhere around it's going to be in 189 or more so cutoff cut off is quite high in CDBS and 100 rank had 233, 150 rank had 215 score, 200 had 201 score, 250 had 189 score, 300 rank holder had a score of 179, then 350 rank had 164, 400 had 146, 450 rank had 116 score and the last rank holder had a score of 36, well no one had a negative marking in negative mark score in ctvs over here everyone had more than zero so this is the result of 2019 for ctvs and vascular surgery and subscribe to the channel because 
when we get the results of 2020 i'm going to make a comparison video of the results and the number of candidates for 2019 and 2020 for as many branches as possible if i find a time i'll make it for all the courses and we'll see the trend if the competition has increased or it has decreased the number of candidates for a particular branch has increased or decreased and all that thanks for watching this video and have a great day